Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to the Manchester Opera House to see Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat. I've seen this quite a few times. Um, I'm going by myself tonight. Um, Lawrence didn't want to go and see this one. I'm sat in the upper tier, grand tier, I can never remember what it's called in the Opera House. Um, and I've paid £13 for my ticket. So when I get there I'll show you the view from my seat, I'll also show you the leg room and stuff, I'll show you any merch it's got, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. So I'm now at the tram station, just three minutes till the tram, I remember not to buy a ticket, so I bought one this morning, so yeah, just three minutes to wait. Show you where I'm sat. I'm sat on row C, C2, in the gallery, so at the top. There is a bit of an obstructed view, but it's not too bad. Anyway, I'll go and show you my seat now. Okay, so this is my seat, row C. C2. And then this is your view from your seat. We've got the bar here, so it's a bit of a restricted view. But yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> also, just to say, there's plenty of leg room in this seat. But yeah, there's lots of space. Also, now you can order your refreshments to your seat. You just have to scan this QR code and it'll take you to the menu of things that you can order. 
Okay. So to use this, you scan the QR code and it takes you to this page. And then click on place an order. It tells you what production you are. And then you click whether you want it to be the full sheet or interval. You can choose where you sat, so you're sat in the gallery. And you put the seat number in. And then say two. And press select. And then it takes you to the menu, so you can select drinks, sweets and snacks, ice creams and programs and merch. So I've gone on snacks, so this is all the crisps that they do. And there's £2 for a bag of crisps, £4 for some of them. They've I've gone to drinks, this is the wines, and you can select the different drinks that you want at the top. Um, here I've selected soft drinks, so I've got J2O, 360, um, 7-Up, 360, water, 2.76. Then if you go on to ice creams, choose your ice creams you can do. So I didn't buy anything but I thought it was really good having that option. It's now the interval, I'm really enjoying the show so far. I'll let you know more about it when I get here.
so I am back from the theatre now and I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I've seen Joseph many times and yeah, but I just really enjoyed this production. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. There was so much energy and the audience was really, really good as well. It was also a packed theatre. I think it always helps when it's a packed theatre. You just seem to have a better atmosphere. But yeah, it was just really, really good show and I just really enjoyed it. Um, now, I was sat in the gallery. I was sat on row C, seat two. So it's a side seat, an aisle seat at the side. And the view was quite good. I did have a little bit of an obstruction. I could see the railing in my in my view. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Um, if you just sit forward a bit, you could see over it. And um, I didn't really miss anything on stage. There wasn't anything too high that I missed or anything. So it was quite a good seat. However, I don't think I'll pick to sit there again. I'd probably sit a bit higher up just so I didn't have that um, bar sort of in the way. Um, but I did really, really enjoy it and I thought my seat was fine for £13. I only paid £13 for that seat, so it was okay for the price. But like I said, I probably wouldn't choose to sit there again. I'd probably sit either higher up or if I could get seats in the circle of stores, I'd probably do that. But for the price of £13, it was a good view. Uh, the leg room in that seat was really good as well. There's plenty of leg room. So they had quite a bit of merch for the show. I think I did film it all for you and I think I filmed the price list as well. Um, but yeah, they had a hoodie. I think they had, they had t-shirts. They had a tote bag. They had a little camel soft toy thing. Um, they had the cast recording. What else did they had? Key rings, mug, magnet. I think that might have been it. They might have had a few. But did they have socks as well? I've got a feeling they might have had socks. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it'll be in the video. I just picked up a magnet. I was tempted by the mug, but I've already got a Joseph mug from, I think it must have been the last time I went. I didn't need another one. I don't, just don't have any rooms anymore for my musical mug collection. I've just got four far too many so yeah I'm, got, I'm going for magnets so I got myself a magnet I think this was four pounds for the magnet it's quite nice as well and now I'm not 100% sure if I've already got a Joseph magnet thinking about it I might have but I'm pretty sure if I have it's not the same design it'd be the purple design I think from the last time it was on but yeah I thought this was really nice I got that for four pounds I also picked up the program as well I think that was four pounds so that's the merch that I got so I think this was actually the opening night of the show I think it was originally supposed to open on Monday and I think Monday and Tuesday shows got cancelled I'm not quite sure why um so it was actually opening night tonight which might have been why it was so busy and so full um but yeah it was, they were absolutely brilliant uh, for opening night the all the cast were amazing. I can't fault any of them. Absolutely amazing, all of them. I really loved Alexandra Burke in it. I thought she was really good as the narrator. Um, I just really loved it and her voice was amazing. Um, Jason Donovan was Pharaoh. I've seen Jason Donovan in Joseph before, but I can't remember what role he played before. Maybe he did play the Pharaoh. I'm not sure if he did. I'll have to check my other programs and see who he played. In the last one it's so long since I've seen it it's probably going on maybe 10 years since I last saw it unless that's a bit of an exaggeration <laughs> but it could be Alice is four now and I have definitely haven't seen it since I got married and I got married in 2016 so it could possibly be 10 years actually since I've last seen it so I'm not sure maybe maybe he played Joseph I don't think he did I'm not sure I'll have to check but he was really really good as Pharaoh I enjoyed his performance as in that and yeah and there's lots of kids in the cast actually some of the parts that are usually played by adults I'm pretty sure they usually play by adults were actually played by children so the um baker and the butler they were played by children and also Pontifar was played by ch by a child which I found a bit weird. The other two, it was all right. Pontifar, I thought, was a bit weird being played by a child, but they were really, really good, the children in it. And, um, yeah, the sets, actually. I really enjoyed the sets in this. Um, 
and the staging was really really good it's just a really good production so i definitely recommend it if you're able to go and see it in manchester i think it's only on till saturday uh, and today's wednesday so depending when i get this up it may already have lost, left Manchester, but if you can see it at any other venues, it's going to be travelling um, to all different venues. If you can catch it at any of them venues, I definitely recommend it because it was so much fun tonight. And I love the mega mix at the end. Everyone was up, dancing, having fun. Um, it was really, really good. And also, I apologise for the mega mix and the uh, curtain call because you may hear me screaming quite a lot because i just really enjoyed it i did a lot of wooing at the end um but yeah it was just such a good show so as i usually do what i'll do is i'll link below uh, where you can buy tickets for the manchester show if it's still on by the time this video goes up um, i'll also link the web page for the production so it'll list on there all the different venues that they'll be going to and there's usually a link on there for you to book your tickets as well so i thought i'd just give you a quick look at the program so this is what it looks like this is the program so first page as usual it's just telling you some of the shows that are going to be on at the opera house and at the palace then they always seem to have a little bit of information about the theatre. And there's a little article about the musical. Some cast photos. So you've got Jack Yarrow there as Joseph. got Jason Donovan there as the pharaoh and then you've got Alexandra Burke as the narrator there in that picture then you've got your cast list here you've got your understudy list production list and your orchestra then you've got your musical numbers. I think most people know what the numbers are in um, in Joseph's. So yeah, there's your number musical numbers for at one. And then you've got your musical numbers for Act Two. Some more, some more production photos. And then you've got the cast biographies. So you've got Alexandra Burke as the narrator. So Jason Donovan as Pharaoh. Jack Yarrow as Joseph. Um, I don't think I've seen him in anything before, but I actually thought he was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed his Joseph. I thought he was good. I loved his voice. Um, yeah, definitely enjoyed his Joseph. So these are the other people that are in the show and these people played um, his brothers and their wives. And we've also got the swing actors as well. And then there's obviously lots of children in this show. As I said, the children are playing some of the parts, which are usually played by adults as well. And they were all amazing, the children. They were really, really good. Obviously, they have to swap children for different performances. I'm not sure who we actually had in our performance. I'm not sure, but they were all amazing. Oh, there's another list of them. And I think that is basically it for the program. Yeah. And then you've just got some adverts of some up upcoming shows. 
Mm, let's see, is there any I would like to see? I've seen Singing in the Rain before, but quite a while ago, so maybe I would like to go see that. I definitely want to see the Cher show, and I want to see Chicago, and I don't think I've seen Anything Goes before, so maybe that as well. And there we go, that is the program. So, that, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. Uh, I have got a few more things booked. So if you do enjoy theatre vlogs, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified when my next vlog goes up. My next vlog will probably be for Animal Farm at the Lowry, which isn't a musical. It's um, a play and it's done with um, lots of puppets. So it should be really, really good. It has actually been cancelled on me twice. Uh, I was originally supposed to see it yesterday evening. Um, it got cancelled so I changed it to Thursday matinee. And then that got cancelled today. So I had to ring up today and change my ticket again. So I've changed it to Saturday matinee. Fingers crossed that one doesn't get cancelled. Because um, I'm really looking forward to seeing it actually. I've not been to Lowry for ages. I think the last time I went to Lowry was to see... Um, everyone's talking about Jamie when I went with my brother so I'm really looking forward to going to Lowry I've also booked to see Les Mis at the Lowry um, in April and what else have we got booked we've got the Adams Family booked in April I've got six booked in April uh, is that everything we've got booked so far that might be everything that we've got booked so far um, so yeah if you'd like to see any vlogs for those like I said please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.